Welcome back, and today we are going to talk about the Dango Wallet. This is the D03 Lite, an all aluminum made in the United States wallet for a ridiculously low $30 price tag. Let's go ahead and get started. So before we get into the new product, let me first update you on this. So this has been the wallet I've been using for a little while. And even though I always carry a multi-tool, I'm also testing the idea of carrying a dedicated pair of pliers in this kit. And um, the small 100 millimeter Cobras are fantastic for this purpose, and they are very versatile, but they don't have cutters. I also am carrying my titanium jet setter pen that I, that I modified a while back, and also a Vero mini uh, fulcrum. And that just seems to work really well as a combination. So that with a folding knife or anything else, I don't have to really think about it. I'm always matching and having that spectrum of tools. So really, really well, well done by this company. Everything's been holding up great. I love how easy this material is to go in and out of the pocket. Awesome. I did want to go back and maybe do something a little bit more minimal or, you know, just something simple. And this checks a lot of boxes. This would have been a perfect wallet for the summer if I was really thinking about it. Like this would have been then an ideal wallet to take to the beach or something along those lines. So I want to talk about it. I have my stuff already in here. I'm not going to show you guys, but let me take out my cards and put in some spares so you can see just what this wallet can actually store. All right, so I just took the whole thing apart just to show you what you're actually getting with this kit. So you're gonna get it in a nice tin. It's gonna have a cover. You're gonna get some instructions along with that. Let me get it all out. Of course, I just jammed it in there. And it sits with a nice rubberized bottom so things don't get scratched. So you can spec out your Dango wallet, blah, blah, blah. There's some of that. There's also a warranty card, I believe. Register your product. So you might wanna do that as well. And this is 661 aluminum, which is actually pretty tough stuff, believe it or not. So it hold up surprisingly well. So let's take that out of the way. This is all the important stuff, minus the cash, of course. This is what really comes in, in the box. So you have the single solid piece of aluminum wallet itself, and that's gonna come with a lanyard, which you can attach anywhere you want. I do think that it works a lot better by being attached to the bottom two loops. And it's also set up, I think, so that you can use it as an ID holder, kind of as a neck uh, setup, which honestly might even make sense for something this small. So if you are looking for an ID holder, this will work pretty damn well. And it's also really good as a wallet at the same time. So I really, really like that. It also comes with an elastic band so that you can use it with holding cash. And you do actually need the band in order to do that. So let me just demonstrate how it works with cards. Now I have three or four uh, embossed cards, so they tend to be a little bit thicker, but this is between, it, it seems to fit four cards on each side, no matter what, regardless of whether they're embossed or not, which is good. Now, one thing I noticed with these tabs that actually hold in, I tried initially, what I was thinking to do is just pressing in like this to get the cards in. I'm like, wow, that's really hard and, you know, kind of awkward. And that's not the way you're supposed to do it. Um, the way that's best to do it is actually not to go, it's to go down and under that line. And it's very easy. You just want to get it under this ridge. Once it drops down in, it's going to be stopped and kept in place by those tabs. Now I only have two cards in here and it still does it look. I mean, it pretty much holds in that card. I actually just tried this and it, it stayed in with one. Let me try that again. Or maybe I didn't have it all the way pushed in then. Well, okay. Even with one card, it's not that bad. Most wallets like this, like for instance, the Travax uh, Summit, wallet if you have less than like two less cards than you normally have it set up for it's going to just fall out this actually holds in cards which is great so no matter whether it's one card or six or four i should say 
it's going to hold in the cards, which is excellent. So let's go ahead and load this thing up. And like I said, you just wanna kinda of go down on top of the card. So it'll stick four cards in there, no problem whatsoever. And they don't come out. On the other side, you can do exactly the same. And we'll use the RFID blocking card that it comes with, which has a spot for your name and address and phone number. This is a really, really good idea. I'm so thankful they started putting these in their boxes. I wish though this had two so that I could put one on each side. And you would have to sacrifice one card slot, but you would have RFID blocking completely throughout your wallet. Either way, very cool. Just make sure that you put it on top of your credit cards and that'll actually um, allow you to get RFID blocking. So you can see there are eight cards inside. No problem. Okay, I'm gonna be really aggressive. This should this should pretty much launch any card. What? Okay, that's all I could get to come out. That's amazing. It's actually really impressive. Um, so there you go. That's the wallet in its base form. And what I like is how simple it is. There's no separate parts. There's nothing to really worry about with this thing. It's it's actually really well done really really well done and it might be one of my favorite rigid wallets that currently exists i am very much impressed with the way this functions and the price we need to talk about the price because that's part of the reason i got it this thing is currently sitting at 30 dollars for a cnc aluminum wallet made in the united states with a lifetime manufacturer's warranty i don't know if there is a better deal on this modern style wallet. They, they just don't exist. In fact, even the Chinese knockoffs would struggle to compete with this, uh, which is kind of crazy. And yes, this is a company that gets knocked off regularly by, um, Ali, you know, at wish.com and all that. And you probably have seen those, but trust me, it's better to get the real thing. Now, the, um, the other thing that this is going to come with is a silicone... Um, Band, and this is going to let you hold on to some cash. So we'll just go ahead and put that on real quick. It's pretty straightforward. Just get it on there. And it actually covers up the label. So it actually has a real nice topo look with that RFID blocking card. And you can take the cash and it doesn't matter where you're storing it. You know, on either side, it's going to work basically the same. The only thing that I maybe don't like as much is because of the raised shelf here that keeps the cards in. The cash, you need to have a couple of bills, like at least a few bills to really get it to hold hold the best. Like this is three bills. And I think this wallet, maybe more than others, can hold a lot more cash. It's kind of already has uh, a space, even when it's empty, see? So it's not flat against the wallet. That's good if you carry a lot of cash, but if you don't carry too much, just be aware of that. The good news though, about having those ridges, the, the raised edges, is that it's actually going to stop the cache to some extent right there. It's gonna hit the, the metal and stop, which is great. So really well done. And this is almost wide enough, this, this wall is almost wide enough that you can do it in a bifold mat pattern. And I think if you have enough cache, I, don't, I think that that would probably work as well. And that's something that definitely isn't true with most, you know, compact wallets like this. They're usually not wide enough to make carrying cash in this manner comfortable or easy without having it getting ripped all, of, all the time. But either way, I'm gonna probably end up just leaving it like this, which is the way I had it set up before. It also comes with a lanyard. And what I you might notice there's actually two different loops. If you're gonna use this, put it on the bottom loop. I found that it got in the way when I put it on the top loop. But the reason there's two, I'm pretty sure, is so that you could wear it around your neck like an ID holder, which is pretty genius in my opinion. Um, I know a number of people that actually do carry their wallets that way. And also if you work in um, a job where you have to constantly present your ID, that's another great way to do exactly that. But you definitely wanna have something that has, you know, removable hooks, but yeah, 
really, really good to have that second loop. It offers the ability to be a ID holder on top of everything else. There's not really much more to say. I mean, this is a fantastic value for the price. Uh, currently sitting at $30. For some reason, after the early access sale, it never went up. I'm not sure why, but turns out, yeah, it's still $30. So if you missed it, this is what it looks like. I, as I said in the video for the early access sale, I was going to be getting one myself. And uh, it's it's fantastic. You know, I did realize just now that there is they are not exactly identical sides. So look, that notice that there's the dango symbol is not there, whereas this one has that corner piece. So I'm actually going to put the cache on the side without it, so it lays a little bit better. So maybe there is a front to it. But generally speaking, it's pretty much the same. All right, well, that's pretty much it. That's the Dango D03 Lite. Pretty awesome wallet made in the United States. Definitely something to check out. And if for $30, this might be, well, damn near unbeatable, to be honest. Now I got to check out the uh, plain aluminum version. You guys have a good one.